it how time what's up everybody and welcome to another episode of it's how time with the howling wolf here going to give you selections for february 6th 2021 the track that i'm gonna do is tampa bay downs it'll be race 11 it is the sam f davis stakes grade three for a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar purse it is going a mile and one sixteenth distance we got a field of 12 running possibly 13 I'm going to be giving you my two, my top selection plus my horse to watch. For my top selection, it is going to be the number six, Run, Runway Magic. It is by Run Happy out of a AP Indy Mare. Last time ran was on January 2nd at Gulfstream Park going six furlongs in the Limehouse Stakes for a $75,000 purse. Was able to get third by nine and a quarter lengths. Had to go three wide into everyone. Had to go then up into the stretch. Was up fourth, then right into the stretch. Got third by a good length. The time before that, it ran on November 28th at Churchill Downs, going seven furlongs in a maiden special weight for a $75,000 purse. Was able to win that race by three and three quarters lengths. Had to go four wide out, made a bid into the quarter pool, and then drew off into the win, into the stretch there. The workouts have been on January 25th at the training course going five furlongs, going in one minute, point zero two point six three seconds breezing, was the fifth best out of the eight workouts that day. Then the last workout was on January 31st at the training course, going four furlongs, going 48.55 seconds breezing, was the third best out of the 23 workouts that day. What I see with this one, it's the first time running at Tampa Bay Downs. Has experience running in Florida because it ran at Gulfstream Park. But the thing with this track, it's a little bit more different surface. But possibly, if Jerry Le Peru could get into the right position and so forth, it is jumping up a class a little bit, but does have the speed to get up in there for a good late kick in the stretch out of distance. Should be able to handle it well. Should be able to win this race by a good couple of lengths if gets in the right position, has to lay back a bit as it does, then right into that second turn, start making the move to go up ahead. So again, for my top selection in the Sam F. Davis stakes, it is the number six, Runway ha- Magic, morning line odds at eight to one. Now for my horse to watch or long shot. My horse to watch it is going to be the number 9, Candyman Rocket by Candy Ride out of a forestry mare. Last time ran was on January 9th at Goldstream Park going 6 furlongs in a maiden special weight $50,000. Was able to win that race by 9 and a quarter lengths. Was stocking up a bit, then it drew away too wide, then drew away past the, 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 the pace setter to get up there for a good first into the stretch. Then the time after that, it, before that, it did it on November 22nd at Churchill Downs on a sloppy track, going six and a half furlongs for a maiden special weight, $85,000 purse, was able to get seventh by nine and a quarter lengths, had to go three to four wide, Yield a bit, was upper length, 
then came up and got tired out. But that was its premier race. It was its first race, so it just went, ran it for the experience. I believe with this one, the workouts have been going on January 26th at a training course going four furlongs and went in a fast course in 49.80 seconds breezy was the fourth best at 11 workouts that day. Then the last workout was on February 2nd in the training course going four furlongs on a fast track. Dated in 49.20 seconds breezing was the third best at the seven workouts that day. Well, what I see with this one, the peg could go longer, but will be able to handle this and also the up in class. That's the question. Does have the ability to run at those distances? Should be able to run off pretty good. It a jockey and trainer are at 16% click together. And in stakes races is at 19%. For what I see what needs to be done here was with this one. Just lay off a bit. Maybe stay in mid-pack. Not so close to the pace setter. But stay in mid-pack enough to make a clear clean move into that second turn if it has the doesn't absorb too much energy running the first half just get up in there to get into the second turn to make its move and spread out Junior Alvarado knows how to get horses into position that well he could do it let's just see how he can handle it especially in this up in class will the horse be able to handle it that's the question. So what I see here with this one, it just needs to make that late kick into that second turn to make a great late move. So again, for my horse to watch, it is the number nine, Candyman Rocket at Morning Line Odds at 10 to 1. Now I'm going to give you an exclusive one I'm going to just keep an eye on. There's one horse that I like that I'm just going to keep an eye on. Has been running. It is the number 10. Ricochet. At Morning Line Odds at 15 to 1. Has been running at Tampa Bay. It is 1 for 2 and also in the money once. Has ran twice and made in special weight lower class levels but... 26000 in the close to $20,000 races. Has won one of them by eight length. Was able to attend and press and cleared off into that second turn there. But will it be able to handle this one? That's the question. It's a big jump up in class. The workouts have been on January 15th. Did it and Prairie Meadows training course did five furlongs and one minute point zero one seconds breezing was did it in, was the third best at the nine workouts that day. Then did it a workout on January twenty second at Prairie Meadows training course going five furlongs on a fast track. Did it in one minute point zero one point four five seconds breezing was the best at the six workouts there that day. Then for the last workout, it was on January 29th at Prairie Metal Training Course at five furlongs on the fast track. Did it in one minute point zero one point four five seconds breezing. Was the fifth best at the eight workouts that day. But what I see here, it has the pedigree for it. Should be able to handle it. But the jump, big jump up in class will be able to handle this class of horses. Most of these horses have barely any one of these have ran in stakes races. There are very few that haven't. But this one, I think, may be able to show great ability. And Cassiano is aboard, so he knows how to get this horse into position very well. 
with the experience aboard him, he should be able to get this horse into the right position at the right time to make a great late move. So one that I'm just going to keep an eye on that may show off with great ability, it is the number 10, Ricochet, at morning line now is at 15 to 1. So to recap my selections, my top selection is the number six, Runway Magic at Morning Line Odds at eight to one. My horse to watch, it is the number nine, Candyman Rocket at Morning Line Odds at ten to one. And one just to keep an eye on, that I'm gonna keep a close eye on, it is the number ten, Ricochet at Morning Line Odds at fifteen one fifteen to one. And remember, when you're catching with the wolf, it's how time. And remember, I'm on YouTube. You can follow me on giving my selections live on there. You can subscribe and like. We'll be having a blast and a howling great time making some money. Hope everyone has a great day and let's make some money.